Hey guys, Dave here with Thaku again. Just uh, gonna run over a little bit of some battery help benefits for your bike. Um, lithium ion cells, one thing that you're gonna notice is they're not as like the old time where they have a memory on there, so you're not needing to charge it fully for the first time. Um, couple things about them is you, you never want to let them run completely dead. Uh, for us, 10, 10-15% on the screen is is dead if you can if you can stop at that point and charge it sometimes you're out in the woods you're out there um, you're gonna have to use a little bit more of that battery but if you can you know limit the pedal assist different things to try to keep that battery from completely dying you're gonna prolong the life um, and if you ever store the bike for long periods of time it's, it's good to keep it stored at maybe 50 to 80 percent charge on it uh, you don't want to keep full charge on it all the time that's another uh, factor that's going to shorten the life of the lithium ions. Um, one thing that we recommend too, with cold weathers playing a factor in the batteries with the cells, there's a BMS board in there. It's the battery management system. It's a little chip basically that reads all the cells, all the information that's going on. So when the battery is super cold from a cold winter and you're, and you get up and you head out and you start pulling a lot of energy, the battery's going to start heating up. Maybe on one side of the cell, the other side's gonna be cold. That, that BMS is gonna get some false readings and uh, try to protect the battery either by shutting it off um, or showing minimal energy, you know, from 80 to 20, zero percent on the battery, even though the bike's on and powering, that's gonna um, show, show some false readings. So we recommend if you're, you know, if you're leave driving and it's cold, Remove the battery from the bike, uh, keep it in the cab, and then put it back on the bike when you're gonna go out riding. Um, also, if you're camping overnight, take the battery off, bring it in the tent, bring it in the RV. Uh, try to keep it as uh, in, in climate weather as you can, not letting it sit out cold and then, and, and then get riding on it. Um, it's gonna help the, the BMS, the life of the battery, and you're going to get a lot more uh, better use out of it and strength. Um, one thing to keep in mind too on the batteries is it's a 48 volt, so 54 volts is fully charged and 47 volts is, is dead. So you're talking 7% uh, voltage in that and when you try to stretch that to 0 to 100% on the display, it's going to vary quite a bit. So you're under a load and you're riding it's going to drop down quicker than it really the battery has. You stop and you do some stuff. It's going to come back up 10, 20 percent of the battery um, because the battery is warm at the time and not getting true readings. So that's going to help you with uh, you know understanding your battery and and getting the most performance out of it. Um, so those two things. Um, we are working on like some insulator jackets and different things. Some guys just take a towel or some rags, kind of wrap it, keep it warm. Um, uh, you don't want to keep it hot in the summer. You want to be able to let it uh, breathe. So don't leave any of that stuff on them on hot days. Uh, but in the mornings when it's cold, try to keep it, uh, you know, anywhere from 50 to 70 degrees is, is good for these batteries. So um, anyway, subscribe and uh, stay tuned for more information on our bikes and any of our accessories and also lithium batteries. So get out and enjoy. Thanks.